I want to make this clear. Opposition to Israel, opposition to the political ideology of Zionism, has nothing to do with disliking, let alone hating, Jews. Many Jews are with us on the question of Palestine. Most of the people supporting Israel are not Jews. Give us a home and provide us protection. And also, Israel always says that any criticism of Israel is anti-Semitism. Well, whatever else I am, I cannot be an anti-Semite. Criticism of Israel is criticism of Israel. It's a disgrace. I want to one day be proud of my country. I want to, well, of that country. I want to be proud one day of my people. At the moment, I am ashamed. But if only Israel, if only Jewish people could turn away from violence, what an amazing thing that would be. I just, and I hope that one day we will, if, if, if with we, us with our history of oppression can't do it, who can? I, I just think I'm so ashamed at the moment. Israel does not act in my name. The only time it will act in my name is when it brings peace to the Middle East. Thank you. Palestinian people hasn't gone away either. Victory to the Palestinian resistance. Victory to the Palestinian resistance. I want one image to stay in your mind from what I have to say today. It's from the village on the edge of Gaza City called Zaytuna where for four days the dead laid unburied and the wounded untreated as Israel refused to allow the medical services to reach them. When they got there, they found dead babies sucking on the toes of their dead Mothers, keep that picture in your mind as you prepare for the next weeks and months. I think it's hard to, to understand what occupation is. I think it's a foreign concept for many Americans, what it's like to live under military occupation. The definition of an occupation is when a foreign army occupies your land physically and controls your life. In addition, Palestinians under occupation, and this is why there's so much struggle against the occupation, they're not citizens, they don't have rights. They don't have civil rights. They're under a military rule. This is a particular kind of occupation that's both military and settler occupation. Settlements are areas of Palestinian land which are selected and whatever is there, whether it's roads or whether it's villages or homes, they are bulldozed and then a new town is built on the hilltop. One very good friend is uh, Rod Rodina Jabber and she and her husband Opta have land in a rural valley near here called the Ba'a. And it's pretty clear these settlements want this land. It's some of the best agricultural land around here. So that valley has had repeated home demolitions. 
The Rodina herself has lived through two home demolitions. They are living now in their third house. Rodina and her children were once again homeless and had to endure living in a tent for many months. Her husband Atta was even imprisoned for protesting the destruction of their home. 